So today we discuss about the AdSense. Look here, what is the URL call? Google.com slash AdSense. So this is the AdSense. So before that, when you apply the YouTube, first preference is the when you apply the AdSense is the first preference is the YouTube. So when you approve approve the any YouTube, when you got the ten thousand views on your YouTube, when ten thousand views is a new update. But my ads is approved by the, my YouTube. In one year back is no issue. You know, not okay for the ten thousands. In a startup, they will be approved by the adsense. But now required for how many views? Ten thousand views are required. Now check. We'll check the my channel here. Look here. I open my channel here. My channel. Okay, how many views are there? Five, six, five, six. Yes or no? Now go to video manager. How to apply AdSense are very important. Now, just option call is channel. What is the option call is monetize? There is one button is there enable. When enable the option is all will be enabled. See this. When your review started, when you got ten thousand views, your review will be started. Is a new update. If you updating AdSense, your YouTube channel will be getting for ten thousand views and apply for the Google AdSense. When your account will be started for any revenue. So first of all, your marketing from your YouTube channel starting onwards. We can make the videos, photo to video making and PPT video making. Third one is the we can market your content along with the video. But more preference, first preference is the video along with content is a mouth content. We can explain your video. Second one is the PPT to video making. Third one is the photo to video making. So if you are doing more amount, that is called first preference is the video along with the content and mouth. The thing but we are explaining each time video with the display. This is the very explanatory for the, your structure. Understand? So now clear. So simple one, write down question. How to how to apply how to apply Google AdSense code into your website or blog? Website or blog? Now, guys, look here. I can show your website here. This is my website. <coughs> guys, careful watch here. This is my website. Here, the ad blocker is there. When your ad blocker is there, the ad will be not appear. Clear? I'm ad blocker will be pause. Now, refresh. Per page, we can display for four ads. We can display your four ads. The ads will be displayed by your website is called one type of revenue. This is called outline adders. What is called outline adders. Now you are come to your website. See here, n number of things are there. Now I'm opening for digital marketing jobs. Look, guys, carefully watch. How many ads are there? Look carefully watch. Here, how many ads are? One, two, what is that? Three, four. And five, and what is that? Totally six. In content, an ad is there. In content, in between the content, no ad is there. Now go to your. Now click. This is complete Google AdSense. Now click for my ads. We can create n number of ads. We can create n number of ads. If you are creating new ad, if you are creating new ad. They active within a 24 hours time. Fraction of second, they're not active. When you're creating new ad, see here, every ad will be active. Look here. Yes or no? Yes or no? Now, what is that? New ad unit. Here, please write down. When you're creating new ad, there is three types. One is called test and display ads. Look my screen. In, in feed ads. In article ads, 
test and display ads in feed ads in article ads this is nothing but instant article ads this is nothing but instant article ads now guys anyone you can select anyone you can select simple one select here see here look here color this is a responsive size nothing but based on the space your ad will be responsible now what is that 728 by 90 336 by 280 320 by 100 here what is that 300 by 600 this is what 300 by 250 so i can create it for responsive why based on space your ad will be responsible now i can create one ad name ad new clock my ad name is ad new clock i'm selecting for responsive ad now come to here here three types what are the three types test and display ads display ads only and test ads only me always select by display ads only response ad only for display ad display ad nothing but they add with the video also they add with the video also now come down what is that save and get code before that few options are there look here create new custom channel any channels are there for your ad no chance are we adding here so look here is it clear now if you are no ads available this option not using this two options will be there which is which is the first preference one is called responsive ad next one is a ad type test with the display display and test ad three types we are always select by the display why is a very powerful for display ads now clear now click for save and get code here this is called code the code will be enter from your website now here just close here i am going to my ads look here what is the new ad type ad clock type as or no see ad new clock what is that status new still will all will be active this will be called new why this is the new ad they not approved so how much time taken will be 24 hours before 24 hours they will time taken understand we now active this ad we can place on your website or blog also now here i am taking one ad here rts ad is active now click for get code guys careful watch copy this code okay i'm copy this code just i'm going to my website look here in between any ad is there now careful watch i'm open my admin panel so which website or admin panel we can add your code this code add by the only for developers only for developers we are give the code you can give the place where you adding put in from your ad now click for post here what is the ad name is system marketing job click for edit careful watch this is my content so in between i place for ad yes or no now what is that click for source now come down here now here click for update now guys look here in between any ad is there no now refresh <coughs> look ad is came this is called responsible ad why look here i'm adding for rts what is mean by so rts ad what is mean by responsive why because the many all will be 300 by 600 720 by 90 what is that responsible they are all sizes rts ad will be called responsible ad so same ad how to add your blogger look here careful watch i am going to my blogger here i am open my blogger here 
digitalvocage.blogspot.in. Here, we can apply for two types as are. One is called outliner and in, in between the content. So which is powerful? In between the content is powerful. Why? Because in between content will display by mobile. Nowadays, everybody using by mobiles. So which is very highlighted. Mobile is highlighted. So in between the ad is very important. In the content, we place an ads. It will be very important for your getting for more revenue. So simple one here, look this one. In my website, how many ads are displayed here? Now outside, just look. One and two. Here is the content will be there. Two ads. Yes or no? Now you go to here. I'm clicking for email marketing. Look guys, careful watch. In the email marketing, in between any ads are there, look careful watch. Any ad is there in email marketing? Any ad is there? No. Look careful watch. I'm going to the my blogger dashboard. Where? I'm going to blogger dashboard. In all that outside will be ads are there. One, it will be two ads are there. But in between the content, no ad. Yes or no? Just I'm going to the where? Blogger dashboard. Select your proper blog. Okay. Now, what the option call is? Pages. Here, what the option call is? Affiliate email marketing. Now, check email marketing. Now, click for edit. So, this is a compost file. So where are you putting for ad? Here, after MailChimp. Where? After MailChimp. Now go to HTML. Where? Go into HTML. See here. Where is that? Email marketing. Where will adding that? After MailChimp. Look here, guys. Now click for update. Done. Now click for refresh. So when adding the video and uh, ads and everything will be using by HTML. First of all, add by the where, which position. First of all, check the which position. I mean, this ad will be there. This is complete for text ad. Display along with the text is complete. Display along with the text. But I'm setting new ad will be only for display ad. Complete along with the display or video or something like that. New ad. Look here. Add new only for image. Display thing but only for image. Look here. All will be like this. What are here? Is also image we'll check this one get code here yeah, two types why because it's not a responsive it's not a response what the size is what the size is 728 by 90 now click get code now copy this code okay now going to where my blogger dashboard going to layout here, just come down. Where is it? Cross column one, add gadget. What the option call is? HTML by JavaScript plus writing for. I'm writing for offer. Go into here, copy this one, click for save. After that, save arrangement. Now, guys, look here. Careful watch. That's only for display ad. Yes or no? Look. What's the size name? 728 by 90. Look here. Is image or we test connect with the image? It's only for image. When you click the image, they're going to where? In your website. Is that clear? This is called. So, guys, look here. When you're displaying time, your 
this one is displayed by five ads. Write down. When you place ads, so when you display in the ads, when you display in the ads, so when you place ads, we are in a desktop will display for. Totally for ads. If you open your mobile, they display two ads. Why? Because in mobile version. They approve by the content ads. See here, in outer will be displayed by the three ads, one and two and three. But in a content, we display by the two ads. Total five will be desktop, two will be mobile. Mobile will be understand only your content. Now, simple one here. See here. So this is the mobile one. Look here. Is not displayed by your. But see, only for two ads. Only for two ads displayed by the mobile. So how to will be capture your mobile version? Your blogger is very important. That is called go to your blogger dashboard. Option call is theme. Here, look here. Is a mobile friendly. Is your Mobile friendly here. Look here. Go to settings. First option S. Yes. Show mobile theme on mobile devices. When you open your mobile, it is called mobile version. Suppose you are selecting the second version. Second option. In your mobile also they are displayed by desktop version. We can display by the fires. But you are scroll up. User will be not understand your content. When you second, we select the second option. User will be not attract your content. They all will be zoom zoom out. User will be not understand your content, so they left your website. So first will be very preference. Any website, please write down. Any website, <coughs> mobile friendly, with hundred percent readable test content. Mobile friendly and hundred percent readable test content. 